It will be forever etched in history as the final garment adorning the people's princess before her tragic demise. But for designer Jacques Azaguri, it held a significance beyond its sartorial elegance. The resplendent black dress may strike a chord of familiarity, for it is an extended and even more glamorous than the original rendition of an iconic Princess Diana ensemble. The powder blue shift dress she graced during a performance of Swan Lake at the Royal Albert Hall in June 1997, transporting us back to the era of supermodels and the pervasive trend of shorter, body-hugging dresses, as Aguri, now selling the dresses post his retirement five weeks ago, shared his insights with people. Recounting the depth of Diana's affection for the dress, Azaguri disclosed that he crafted an extended version in black as a gift for her 36th birthday. She adorned it at an event hosted by the Tate Gallery in London, marking her final venture down the red carpet. A heartfelt note from the princess expressing gratitude for the dress now accompanies its replica in an auction lot, having found a home with a collector in the United States. The collection also features the famed powder blue mini dress and the black halter neck dress worn at a charity gala on the night her revelatory panorama interview aired in 1995. Reflecting on Diana's enthusiasm for fashion, the Moroccan-born designer remarked, She was always very excited by fashion, and she knew she would please so many people just waiting for her to come out in the next dress, whether they were waiting in the streets or watching her on television. Describing her meticulous approach, as Aguri added, she took a long time making sure that everything was just right, choosing the right shoes and jewelry. The twin dresses, now destined for a cherished collection, will join the memorabilia curated by Renee Plant, founder of the Princess and the Platypus Foundation, a 3D interactive online museum boasting over 1,800 historical items associated with Diana. Yet, amidst the offerings, there are certain treasures as a girl remains unwilling to part with. One of the most precious things that I have is a framed picture that the princess sent me the morning she was leaving for France, from which she never returned, as a girl revealed. Recalling the poignant moment, he described finding a parcel from her staff at his shop that morning. Inside was a framed picture of Diana wearing three of the famous five dresses, with a message saying, To Jacques, lots of love, Diana that I will be keeping all for myself.